Hey folks, welcome back to the Social Blue World. We got special guests with us. It's G Hop. Hey, here's a lot of water. Here's a lot of fish and all these things. And oh, look at that! What's going on here? And also, I'm here. Yeah. So uh, this is, we're, we're doing a quest where you need the special like full moon going at the time. It involves me to sit in there for like a half hour, just taking naps in game, waiting for the full moon to come. Nice jorts, by the way. Hey, hey. If you're if you're in Polynesia, it's what you wear. Probably, I guess. I don't know mm -hmm. if that's actually a fact or not. Maybe you Have you ever some... been to Polynesia? No. Well, actually, not yes. Counting, not counting Hawaii. Damn it! It counts. <laughs> it doesn't kind... count. Where, what is that? What does it count as? Like, Oceania? That's Hawaii. Yeah. It counts as America. America. Right. Okay. So, first off thing we need to do here is that we need to find this, like, treasure chest that only shows up at, during, like, a full moon. How that works... I don't know. It's well, a ghost! It's, it's the moon's gravitational pull is pulling on the, the rock. It, it's yeah. a rock yeah. line. Tidal forces. Yeah. Scientific. Yes. But only on the full moon, because it's bigger then. Mm hmm. It's more magical when it's a full moon, of course. Yeah. Are those narwhals? What's going on there? No, it's a swordfish. Oh, they're just far away. Never mind. Ah, uh, sailfish. Sorry. I was like, wait a minute. Let's get let's get straight to it. Straight to these questions. Let's get this right. straight. Let's get straight to the rock questions. Okay. What is the most common type of dirt that's underwater? Is it like silt, or is it just sand that's most common, or is it like clay, or is it actual well, dirt? Well, when you dirt? get when you get into those sorts of things like silt, say silt, clay, and all that stuff, it usually gets down to like a grain size. Like silt is one of the finer grain sizes. It's like a like a fraction of a millimeter is what they're usually graded on. Or their grit, their grit, I guess you could say as well. So silt, so silt's an actual just like a consistency of material rather than actual no, it's composition. No, actu it's it's the actual grain size. Silt is very, 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 very fine. And silt's like quartz and shit, right? Like feldspar. Uh, it, it, it'd be silica for the most part. That's what it, that's what would make up a lot of the actual beaches and stuff. I mean, you'll see some other little things like flecks of like a K spar and stuff. It'll be like the pink or the reddish sand you'll sometimes find. And then is that like the most common thing you just find just underwater? Like, or does it vary? Well, silica location? for the most part. I mean, you know, of course it's just um, uh, the result of just the ocean eroding or what have you or carrying things in from land. I mean, it's just, you know, you've got the stuff that's built up from, you know, the billions of years the planet's been around. So yeah, it's just okay. pretty much just silica. I, I just wasn't sure part. if you just would just find like just a mound of actual dirt underwater. Like someone just dumped their, their flower bed <laughs> out there and it's like, yep, here's some dirt. It's straight up dirt. The water tends to get in the way of just that. <laughs> just some horse manure right in the middle of the um, uh, Marianas Trench for some reason. You know, it happens. Yeah. That's actually a good point because like most actual dirt, like land dirt, is actually, you know, derived from like physical, you know, biological matter of some kind. Mm -hmm. You know, plant matter. Or just general erosion. Yeah, that's true. I mean, but well, uh, I guess, yeah. To... Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah, well, that's just like, 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 what was that one thing I remember seeing that said that, like, uh, all, it's not, not chalk, but what, what, what is the thing that's not chalk? The stuff that's used as, like, limestone? No, the thing that's used as chalk, but isn't chalk. Oh, uh, I know this. Like the thing you use for writing on boards. It's not talc, is it? No, it's... It's the same stuff that's in your, your eyes. I remember this. No, no, it's not. I don't remember what it is. Damn it. Damn it's just... I know what you're talking about, but I can't think of the word for it. Oh, it's gone. Because for... it's, it's the remnants of ancient corals and shit. Or yeah, that's, that was the question. It's, it's calcium. Sponges. It's calcium sulfate. Yeah, it's okay. just calcium. Calcium carbonate. Which yeah. is gypsum. Or, uh, calcium, calcium carbonate. Gypsum sorry. was the word I was trying to think of. Gypsum, yeah. Oh. There you go. Good job. Yeah, but basically that, that's all like, you know, when you think all the gypsum in the, in the crust basically is just animal matter. Clarissa just scared the hell out of me there. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I looked, and there was something a narwhal just coming straight. I was like, oh. Just hanging around. Normal? Hey, yeah, what's going like, on? That's not normal. <laughs> well, it is our buddy. We we're using it to convey ourselves. So what we're working on here is I'm trying to clear out this map. Because there's, there's stuff that you can do if you clear out maps. Also, you get more money. Because why not? So much money. This game makes you grind so much at the end. I find it kind of interesting you were talking about, like, the um, uh, origin of soils and stuff. There's actually a lot of interesting uh, geology and history and things that go into uh, 
I'm trying to think of how to how to spread my words properly here. Like um, underwater in particular, we'd have iron formations, and for a while, you know, years and years and years ago, Earth did not have you know an abundance of oxygen present in the atmosphere. Right. And under the water, we had, you know, what were called, we'd later call banded iron formations. And essentially, you'd have these formations of iron, and prior to no oxygen, they wouldn't rust. But as soon as oxygen was more prevalent, they started seeing, you know, oxidized or rusted presence inside of them. That's about how they roughly date when oxygen started becoming more common in the atmosphere. And they also have, you know, like uh, anaerobic, you know, tiny critters and stuff in the water they kind of find some indication of but uh that's actually pretty cool i don't know why that, i don't know why that came to mind it's just kind of something okay. i started why thinking not? Of. that's a good fact we are all just about a good fact water dirt water dirt yes for some reason that reminded me of i don't know why you inspired me something completely unrelated it made me think about the uh with like uranium buildups that we have underneath the crust, obviously we have a lot of it. But with the way, the point where it's the level of, um, with like the radioactive decay of like uranium, it used to be the fact that there could be uh, natural nuclear reactors in the Earth's crust due to the pressure and due to the level of the, the current really? the level state of uranium. They've actually found, I believe, in France, they found like a uh, like a natural nuclear reactor in the sense that it was actually having you know fission occur occurring in the Earth's crust due to the pressures. Just huh. reminded me of that for some reason. I never actually for thought about reason. that. <laughs> just happens. Yeah, it's just, it, it can't happen anymore because all of the uranium that naturally is, you know, decayed to the point where it's not mm -hmm. not really capable of sustaining uh, nuclear fission anymore. But yeah, I think hmm. it was like, was it France? No, I'm oh, sorry, it was a French guy who discovered it. It wasn't in France, I just looked it up. It was there in... is a complete difference between France and a French guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. It, it was, there it is was, a it, very big difference. Yeah, it, it, was, it was a Franceman. Yes. It, it was. It's actually in. Uh, I just looked it up just to make sure. It's actually in Gabon, Central Africa. So. Hmm. Turns out it wasn't even French. His name was just Francis. Okay. So oh, the, the reason I, I got okay. The real reason I got confused was because the the uh, the lab that discovered it was a French one. They were using material from Africa, but there was a French lab that discovered it, so that all the research was French. So. Yeah. Which is, I feel, is a better justification for getting those two confused. This is going to sound really weird, but I'm digging the noise this makes as you fast forward to swimming. <laughs> Just run away from the great white sharks trying to kill me. Oh, the cove you can never get for some reason. Yeah, it's weird. You've been here like three times. You keep missing this map block. You see, I think it's like <laughs> just like a side map, like an unrelated map block that counts. Like, it's it's weird. They, they'll count, like, a map that doesn't touch it. Like, I think it's the little one actually at F4 that matters here, rather than anything here. I don't know. May it's, yeah. mother, may it's mother nature playing one of her little tricks. Yeah. Saucy minx. Yeah, like fossils. That. Yeah. Like, our Lord God would not have done that. <laughs> this is the devil lying to us. Look at here. We have ourselves a trilobite. Ooh. You shut your mouth, Satan. This ain't real. I read the Bible. There ain't no mention of no trilobites. <laughs> what I just think is funny is if you go to a natural science museum, you look at um, uh, trilobites, the fossils and stuff, there's some really weird offshoots of trilobites that, have, that look really goofy and weird. Oh, the like Amal really cards. long eye stalks in some cases. Yeah. Sometimes it's kind of like, oh, wow, somebody was experimenting. <laughs> yeah. Evolution's fun like that. It is. But even even like modern like isopods get really freaking weird. Like you wouldn't mm -hmm. think because most you know like marine isopods, land isopods look pretty similar. There's a lot they of are, weird looking yeah. ones too. Yeah. Hey, you want to know a weird isopod fact? Hmm. Okay. When when they when they give birth to their like their juveniles, they actually like store them for a little while like in their body, but in like water sacks. True facts. Just for safekeeping, you know. All right, yeah. yeah they got little, like, these weird, weird little, like, water sacks in their body. Huh. Yeah. That is weird. Yeah. Well, they're crustaceans, so yeah. Yeah. It just, huh. like, yeah. It's the thing. Hey, Contessa. Contessa, the hyper narwhal. Hey, I think I got that one, that one bit of map may count. dee 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 doo 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 Okay. So this hopefully should be enough. 
Oh no, Contessa, you turned into the white one. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe I had to go back down and get a different spot. <laughs> okay. So now I've definitely completed the map here. I don't remember what the white dolphin's name is. We have too many dolphins. Churchill. Okay, got it. He was the one that found the fish. Yes. That I sold for money. <laughs> that was a thing that happened in this video game. I'm pointing at my screen and I don't know why. You do that. Oh, no. Alright, appraise things. Tell us about the wonderful treasures we have discovered on the ground, underwater. A loot sack's full. Oh. Alright. Oh. Yeah, oh. Why are you oh. even there? Plastic figure. It's a rare I book. still love the story with that figure. Epic poem. A whole book. Wait, wait, wait. Yes! Okay. So, 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 Alright! Some knight died <laughs> in the middle of, like, the ocean. It was very tragic. He was tragic. trying to swim across. <laughs> he's, he's trying to swim from Africa. or No, he's trying to swim to the Middle East to participate in the Crusades. Yes! He missed the boat. I'd like it if you could put on the plate mail, but you couldn't swim. You could only walk underwater. Just I would stomp be around. for that. I, I wish oh, it's you could. Treasure. Ah, yes, this is. Looks like treasure. I was wrong two videos ago. Concrete drum. Oof. Donkey Kong's a brick. Oh, level up your man. Arbitrary levels all over the place. Yeah. Yes, praise us. Praise our appraisals. Here are some casks. Like, I'm, okay. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with these casks, but I, I don't <laughs> know. Put them in the ocean. Maybe some fish can live in them. It's like, just you know. Just heads off on a jet ski. Later, jerks. It's just some alcoholic fish might like them. I don't know. Just, yeah. Mm -hmm. maybe, maybe you can find a, a, a St. Bernard. It's really ironic when fish have drinking problems. <laughs> This guy's really blinged out. Look at that. Wait, wait, wait. So Nancy bought the treasure off of us and then gave it to GG? Yes, so he can use it to help his friend who's in a coma with gold. That's a thing you can do with gold. You can help. What's going on with that hair? We don't know! It's like it's a, sea, a, a sea slug has like died on his head or something. <laughs> or, or it's He's like nursing a... it back to hell that's just resting. Eventually, in like a couple years, his hair will split in two and you'll just become like Nicolas Cage. <laughs> <laughs> the bird if will only. take off from his head. If only. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. The hairstyles of this game are weird. It's like some like Japanese like focus group developing for this game. It's like, all right, guys, what haircuts are we gonna put in this game? Remember, we gotta have this appeal to Western audiences too because they bought more of this game than we did. I think somebody described a faux hawk to somebody and they just showed him <laughs> a quick picture and they're like, oh, I think I got it. I think you actually can get an actual faux hawk in the game though. Oh. Please put Goku in this game. <laughs> like, oh, Goku's haircut would be great. Like, this game was like produced by Nintendo. I think Nintendo actually owns the rights to it. They do. We should need some, like, okay. You just got a ninja sword, ninja apparently. Sword. Yeah, you did. Is it a katana or something else? I, I believe it's a katana, and I believe it's actually technically an air tank in katana form. It is, form. in fact, an air tank. You wear it on your back. <laughs> this, this game is a very serious game. Yay, third largest. A lot of people in the Palago really want maps of Greece. I know. I heard this rumor. <gasps> a huge black shadow. You're in the pocket of Big Map. What kind of crazy thing would cause a big shadow. So apparently, we I actually completed all the requirements for this quest at once, but you can only have this oh this conversation like one at a time. So. uh... Spiral store. What is a spiral store? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> it's one twisted bird. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you do with all these points you keep getting? I'm sorry, I'm kind of out of it on this game. That's the uh, money, and we need to yeah. save up a million. I need to get like a lot of it. 
I need to get a million dollars. I'm Three only at like 250,000 right now. Oh. I've, been, I've been doing this for literally two years now. <laughs> it's been a year. Well, you know, it's not a very profitable way of life. That's what it's trying to say. It's like, do not become a professional diver. The salvage life is not a, a normal life for normal people. Maybe you should stick to that grad school you're supposed to be in. If you work hard, maybe you can salvage a living, but that's... Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, goddammit. The low-hanging fruit. Yeah. Hey, if you see low-hanging fruit, take a bite. Alright, so, in order to continue with this, this quest, I have to basically have this conversation with her several times, because apparently I've completed enough of the maps consecu cons consecutively. Cons consecutively. Consecutively, there you go. consequentially, and then basically, so I need to take a nap between having conversations with her. Oh shit! I'm tired of this. I'm going to bed. <laughs> She's so boring. You have to go and have a nap. Maybe it was a whale that had that shadow. Maybe oh. it was the king of the whales. Oh. Maybe it was the windfish. Oh my god! <gasps> and the whole second part of this island the game is like a remake of Blink's Awakening. <laughs> and then it all turns out to be a dream. Yeah. And then the moon smashes into the planet. I think. Yeah. Yes. I don't know. Then, then with the timeline splits, I haven't played. I haven't played one of those since the SNES. I think that's about how it ends, though. Yeah, that's the gist of it. And then everything's all cartoony. It's great. So strange. And then you talk to the boat. It's great. That's not a boat. <laughs> that's Oceana Zorak. Looks like something else. She's our friend. Still talking about that rumor? All right, we'll go look for the shadow. It's probably oh, just shadow. some stupid whale, or some sort of a hedgehog. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh, hell, shadow! <laughs> Heroes rise again! Ah, uh, let's go to Greece. How much their travel expenses are? Probably more than we're making. Especially because they got, they got to fly all the dolphins. Well, well, they used to have that where you could buy like lifetime tickets for airlines. Like that actually, like you paid like a hundred thousand dollars and you can fly for life. Yeah. Like without charging it, they had to get rid of that because they end up getting like you know, uh, you end up to becoming like really affordable if you do a lot of business flights. Yeah. So some people are like still grandfathered into having it. So it's kind of funny. That's pretty cool, actually. Basically, it's at the point where the airline tries to find excuses to kick people off the program. I say, you violated the contract! Like, no, I didn't! Uh, carry on bags too big. Gonna have to remove you. It's like, oh, you used your, your extra ticket for someone we didn't agree with, so. You, you lose your $100,000 worth of thing. Ah. <gasps> uh. All right, so some shadow near South Canyon, some kind. Let's see if we can find it. Go find that windfish. This is the windfish theme going on right here. Yeah. It's just like I remember it. it sounds a lot better when it's not on the Game Boy. Did this game make many noises out of the Wii Wiimote thing? It did. It's actually pretty annoying. <laughs> it, it, Is it really? Every time you highlight a thing at the Wiimote, it goes... Rrr! Weird. It's, That's why I play with the classic controller. Yeah. It, well, it even does it even when you use a classic controller. Also, I was heading the wrong Maybe direction. I just never noticed it. I don't know. For some reason, why my Wii Wiimote kind of got damaged early on, and the uh, speaker never sounded right. <laughs> so occasionally... Whenever I'd play something, make sounds, it'd always be like, it'd be like scratchy nonsense. And I know that what was? Maybe it was Gamos were... playing that did that a lot. And it was really annoying. Maybe there was a little baby bird living in your Wiimote. You just oh, didn't realize maybe. it. Like, oh. I, guess I, better, I, be, I guess I better check on it then. <laughs> I, yeah, I think it's safe to say it's probably dead. Or it's grown up and flown the coop. Oh. Yeah. And then that'd be a fully grown bird with a freaking nunchuck. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That bird means business. 
So this is the right location, uh... Yeah, you're getting there. Not, not really seeing any shadows other than the normal sort. Stingray seems to not give a shit. Also, I'm Salt Snake. <laughs> yeah, you are. Oh. What? <laughs> Jeff, oh no, it's the baby bird! It's coming for you! <laughs> You thought I was extinct, but you were wrong. No, oh, yeah, there's just, a, there's just a plantasaur down here. <laughs> just hanging out, you know. You were wondering uh -oh. who knew the secret of the Greek fire. Did me. you find something cool? <laughs> I knew about this way before we did this LP, and I just kept the secret from Magical beast. Oh man. And it's gone. You never see it again. <laughs> you see it in a cutscene. You don't even get to touch it. Lame. You're gonna, don't keep it a secret. Oh, no, she if had you a... tell them that's here, they'll protect it. Science must know. Mm -hmm. No, I don't agree with you. This is how science works. No, really? science no. demands it. The people deserve to know. Game, why are you doing this? Oh, Shadow, you're gonna get that thing hit by a ship. God! Why would it force you into something like that? Why would it even give you the choice if it was just gonna snap your wrist? Mm. <sighs> this game does that with choice. It'll give you like three choices and all three will technically be right. <laughs> I don't think you really want to do that. It's like, was it A, was it B, or was it C? Actually, it was all three. We call it the illusion of choice. But yeah, you you do get all of its info. Yeah, so even though you can't see it again, we got its info already. A gigantic plesiosaur? Knows what it is. Fingers crossed for a megalodon. Ah. Uh. Turns out it does not live in the Gautama Atoll, which would be weird because it wasn't there to begin with. No, nope, so, yeah. it doesn't live. It doesn't to, live there at to, all. To be frank, it's weird that it lives where it appears. Yeah, it's where weird. It, that it, it shows a location again. for it, but you can only see it during that one cutscene, and that's it. <laughs> so it's gone. Never gonna see it again. Well. Ah. Science will never know. Maybe sea serpents really do truly exist. And then it talks about all the things. Oh, we found a sea monster, and it's just a rotting basking shark. Oh, basking sharks. Or a dead whale, that. or... It's a nice-looking model. For the Wii. Oh, we've said before, a lot of the models in this game are really nice. Yeah. But yeah. That happened. Majestic baby bird. <laughs> Plesiosaurs are an extinct order of Mesozoic marine reptile. They first appeared in the late Triassic period, around 205 million years ago began to thrive during the Jurassic period, and eventually went extinct due to the Cretaceous extinction event that similarly wiped out all the non-avian dinosaurs. Plesiosaurs evolved from lizard-like marine hunters with legs. In fact, they're more closely related to modern-day lizards and snakes than archosaurs like crocodilians, birds, and dinosaurs. Plesiosaurs are split into two separate clades, the Pliosauroids, which had relatively short necks and massive toothed jaws, and the plesiosaurids, which had long necks, the longest neck-to-body ratio of any reptile, in fact. Plesiosaurs were only one group of marine reptiles that existed during the Mesozoic era, though. Let's talk about all of them! Now, the first that showed up, probably, was the Nothosaurs. They're the precursors to the plesiosaurs, and probably their ancestors, and appeared in the Triassic era. They probably ate fish and squid. They were definitely lizard-like, given their relatives. Next ones to show up were probably the ichthyosaurs. Uh, we don't know exactly what the deal is with the ichthyosaurs in terms of their relations to other reptiles. They, we don't know, really know what their ancestors are like. We've seen transitional forms, but beyond that, eh, they were dolphin-like and probably ate fish. Uh, they were last seen in the late Cretaceous, though it was prior to the extinction event. They declined heavily due to the competition from plesiosaurs. Or so it's thought. Another marine reptile order that showed up in the Triassic period were the Philatosaurs. They grew to be pretty big, and we're not quite sure what their deal is. 
They're probably diapsids, and they superficially resemble lizards, but beyond that, it's really hard to tell. Another weird guy that showed up during the Triassic period were the Placodonts, which were closely related to plesiosaurs and nothosaurs, though they resembled turtles. Not for any real genetic reason, it looks to be some sort of, you know, parallel evolution. And of course then, in the late Triassic, we did have the plesiosaurs showed up, which became common during Jurassic, declined during the Cretaceous, and ultimately were annihilated with everything else. The pliosaurs and the plesiosaurids diverged in the early Jurassic, for the longest time, they were the dominant predator of the marine oceans. Also showing up in the late Triassic were the crocodilians, who you may be familiar with. They're one of the few Mesozoic marine reptile species to survive the era. They had split into their modern groupings, you know, the alligators, the crocodilians, you know, the gargoyles, and whatnot, by the end of the Cretaceous. They got even bigger back then than they do today, with Sarcosuchus imperator reaching up around 10 meters in length. Close cousins of them were the Thalatosuchids, also known as the Sea Crocodiles. They were archosaur cousins to the crocodilians with long snouts that appeared in the early Jurassic and ended up disappearing in the early Cretaceous. They weren't actual crocodilians, so again, closely related, looked pretty similar. Also showing up in the early Cretaceous period were the Sea Turtles, who still exist and are adorable. They got pretty big back then, got really huge. Uh, turtles are their own separate thing. They're not really, they're not archosaurs, they're not lizards and snakes, they're just kind of their own dealio. And last to show up, and probably the most fucking badass, were the Mosasaurs. Appeared in roughly the last period of the Cretaceous period, post Ichthyosaur, and pretty much pushing out the Plesiosaurs into their decline. They're actually monitor lizards, like the modern day monitor lizards. They are close relatives of those, and basically just marine monitor lizards, and they were fucking huge and badass. I mean, look at them! 